3rd of September. This is the uh, living mulch update from Camberton in Shropshire. Um, this is the winter wheat stubble, which is improving. It was obviously cut early. My concern here was that we established the living mulch underneath heritage wheats, long straw wheats, which were big and dominant. Um, there was very little light. The wheats were about four foot tall and thick, so uh, the clover had a hard time. There's more here than I thought there would be. Over to the left there was under YQ, which was a little bit more upright and little, a little bit more open. That's done quite well. Here into this area, it's thinner than I would like, although it is improving quite rapidly, as is normal, of course, once you've harvested the crop. Um, so this is a sort of thin area. Um, still quite a few plants there. Where the, where the crop is good, obviously there's, there's plenty. The, the clover is established. There are other perennial weeds which are a worry. There are some docks, um, some of these sort of milk thistle, soft thistle things, um, which I'm not thrilled about. Uh, as it gets further across, it is thinner. I have got some more seed just arrived yesterday from Sam, um, and I'm going to attempt to broadcast that over the top and just roll it in the thin areas, hopefully to um, establish a little bit more, but that is more or less the line there. We're cultivating the remainder of the field today just to stimulate um, old weed seeds to grow, um, and then this will be re with winter oats the end of October or late mid late October. On the spring wheat side, much better. Living mulch a bit too good, you might say. That is a good bit. Um, there's thinner parts than that, but generally it's like that and it's very good. Obviously I had a very easy time under the spring wheat. Under the buckwheat, which we haven't yet cut, I think we'll be fine. It's, it's certainly in there. There's no question that it's there. And um, I don't think there'll be a problem there either, though, but we won't be harvested for another couple of weeks. That's the line here, which is much clearer to see. There is some clover this side. Weeds again. Um, there are, seem to be already fewer actually on the living mulch side than there are elsewhere. Perhaps it's just I can see them, but we will be ripping this stubble up um, to do the same thing, to try and hurt perennial weeds, um, just backing them a little bit. There's a nasty dock there um, and stimulate everything else to grow in the next day or two. And then this will be sown direct now in October. I plan with winter rye. So uh, that's where we're up to.